Hey guys, this is Rob from Classic Car Living and we're here at Florida Hot Rods, one of the coolest custom shops in Miami. We're gonna meet the owner and check out the shop. Let's go take a look. My name's Mario, welcome to Florida Hot Rods. Let's do a shop tour real quick. Let's go. So what kind of stuff do you do here, Mario? So we do a lot of fabrication, frame off work, mechanic, a lot of engine swaps, disc brake conversions, electrical, AC, a little bit of everything that's custom, pretty much. But we also build cars to full restoration to stock as whatever the customer is asking for. Okay. So but we do a lot of custom work. Let's go check it out. Come on in. Mm -hmm. So what do we got here? This is a 36 Ford. This is one of the uh, club members on our club, which is Viejitos. This is a 36 Ford Coupe that we've been building for a while. We just did an LS swap on it. 4060 transmission, automatic. We just did a brand new rear end on it. And uh, it's got a whole vintage air system inside. We're still working on it on the at the, at the moment. Uh, it's pretty much we're getting it ready to go to paint right after this. So we're gonna, gonna sh kind of strip off the chrome mm -hmm. and get it repainted again and then put it all back together and get it ready for the room. What do you got there behind you, man? This is a 53 Chevy 3100. It's actually sitting on an S10 frame that we did. We shortened it, uh, air ride suspension. It's got a 2005 uh, LS motor in it, also with a 4060 automatic. This one just came, the body just came from, from paint. So this is in process to start putting back together. This one here, this is a 72 C10 from a customer of mine, good friend. Uh, this truck came from another shop up north, mm -hmm. uh, so now we're in the process of putting it back together. We stripped it off, put all, um, all new parts, but it's got a full custom frame from a roadster shop that we took it all apart and did all the new powder coating on it, put it all back together, and also it's in process of, of building back together. We got a motor uh, LS3 supercharged that we got to paint and, and put it back in there. So. This will also be on the road soon. What do we got down here? This one's a, also a 50, this is a 50 Chevy 3100, same as the blue one, uh, just a different color, different setup. Also, we're doing a, an LT, 2020 LT Camaro motor, LS3, 10-speed uh, transmission, air ride. This one was pretty much frame off, everything brand new. We did suspension, rear end, bags, all the bag brackets, everything in-house fabricated so we try to buy as less as possible mm -hmm. we kind of fabricate everything in the house That's from motor mount transmission mount airbag brackets two links four links shock routes pretty much everything oh wow yeah then we send it out once we're done with the frame we send it out to particle uh same thing we did with the yellow one wow uh, here i got a couple motors for customers that are waiting for swaps Nice. And so what's on this side? This side here is my fabrication side, which is the dirty side. Here we got a plasma table. And it's, how, it's pretty much how we make all our, our brackets and, and stuff for the swaps and air ride. And pretty much anything we got to do as far as custom, we make it on the, on the table. Here we got all the, pretty much all the machines, the uh, vendors, the shear, and all the, all the metal pretty much stacked up uh, our welding table back here we got a drill press this is our bead roller so pretty much this is how we make all of our designs on our floors firewalls any type of panel we make this is the machine that actually makes all that uh, we do everything by hand so pretty much the only machine that really cuts things out is the plasma you don't, uh, you, everything don't, else. you don't see a lot of that here in Miami. That's you see it mostly in California, yeah. right? Yeah. That's what what's interesting about your shop is that we don't see this a lot. There's not a lot of fabrication shops down here, and I like I said before, I, I try to make everything by hand in house. So the less I gotta buy, the better. Uh, sometimes we you you go buy and you try to go buy a a panel for a car to make to do body work to do some type of replacement of rust. And it's never a panel that goes on directly. So you're spending money on a panel that you have to cut up to make it work. Correct. So that's why I came with a conclusion that no more buying panels. I make it all myself. And that is gonna be 
directly bolt on or weld on or whatever. And it's gonna fit I make perfect. it directly to what I need. Right. Because I have all the cars here to make it. Right. You know, so kind of like behind you. So this is a 48 Suburban. This is one of my personal cars that I'm working on. Uh, it's it's in the process of so pretty much frames all been redone mm -hmm. by the previous owner. It's got an LS already in it. So I'm doing some of the metal work that it needs. Uh, and then right after the metal work, obviously it goes also to paint. And then it comes back to put it back together and get it running. So these fenders were already done? These fenders, are, I, I believe the, the previous owner had put them new. The hood's new, the front fenders are new. Right. Everything else is pretty much original from the truck. Wow. This is a 6.0 LS motor. A 4L60 transmission. It's got a Mustang 2 front suspension, disc brakes all around, uh, Camaro rear end. Uh, previous owner had done the firewall already. It looks nice, so I'm going to leave it. Perfect. So there's there's a lot of things that have been redone on this car that by the previous owner that are that are done correctly. So they're gonna they're gonna stay the way they are. Was this here is a '73 Chevy Caprice? Uh, so for instance, I was saying about the panels. This car here, we bought quarters for, it, and the quarters were completely different for for what what we needed. Everything on the design was different. It was different here. It was different here and it was different in the front. So I decided to fix the current quarter panels where we just make panels for it. So this here, we actually cut it right here and we weld butt to butt on the metal. So we don't do metal on top of metal. We butt to butt so that when it's done, you can't tell what happened there. Everything gets cut out for the factory lights and then all the bends are factory so everything looks like if nothing ever happened. What's the, he doing? The floors here are also redone. So if you see and you notice all the designs on these floors, those are all done with the bead rolling machine. Those designs are not only to look pretty, but they also strengthen the metal. Gotcha. So those floors are done from all the way up here, all the way to the back. All, all that is handmade bent wow. and bead rolled in-house. As you can see what he's doing there, he's putting a new panel under the seats. Mm -hmm. The rear seat also has bead rolling to match the factory style of the car. Awesome. This is a, an 84 Chevy C10. We're doing a, a four six drop flip kit and we did some metal work that was already kind of bubbling up and we kind of repaired that so it doesn't get any worse. Cool. Doing anything on the inside or? Not right now. No. It's going to kind of kind of stay stock at, at the moment. Gotcha. So just getting all the rust repaired on it. Uh huh. Which uh, here in, uh, in, in Miami. Yeah, there's a lot of rust here. It's yeah. it's the humidity and the weather that makes it really bad. This is a Florida truck, so right. it's for being a Florida truck and being in the humidity is is very clean. Mm -hmm. So we're just getting the little rust that it that's starting, so it doesn't get worse. Uh, customer put a cow hood. We gotta adjust it, make it open and close correctly. It's got a LS6 in it from a 2001 Corvette, AC vintage air. All right, so what got you into this, man? Oh, this started a very long time ago. Uh, pretty much I was like three, four years old when my dad actually grabbed me and started teaching me wrenches and screwdrivers. This is a hammer, the wrench, uh, uh, pliers. and Little by little, that's how I got into it. But uh, it pretty much started like that. So he would tell me, I'm going to get under the car and start working on it. Go get me a wrench, go get me a screwdriver. You know, so that's how I pretty much learned. And it took off and I never stopped. When did you open the shop? Give me a little history about the shop itself. So I opened this shop actually, um, I would say I've been here eight years, uh -huh. um, but it's been a little, almost 20 years that I've been doing this. Wow. So it's been a while. Uh, I've been here for eight years. Before here, I had another shop down south in uh, Color Ridge. I was there for about two and a half years, but this all started as a hobby in the uh, backyard working on friends cars and my personal cars until you know projects got bigger and I said well 
10 cars don't fit in my house now. So right. I, I decided to get a warehouse and that's how it all began about, I would say about uh, almost 11 years ago. You enjoy it? I love it, it's my passion, yeah. But if I have a classic car or anybody has a classic car and they wanna find you, what, do, what, what should they do? Easy, um, Instagram, at Florida Hot Rods, Facebook, Florida Hot Rods, uh, Google Business, you just put Florida Hot Rods, website, flhotrods.com, any of those places you can reach me, DM me. Also, phone number, 305-796-2024. I'm gonna put a business card on the video, all my info's there, uh, Florida Hot Rods at Yahoo. If you guys wanna send in pictures, you wanna get a quote, any other info. Some customers like phone numbers, texting, emails, all my info will be on the video.